In this video, I'll explain how to split a data frame into custom bins using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you an example. And this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines one, two, three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data set to the bottom in the R Studio console by running line four of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our data contains 10 rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to split our data into custom bins. Then we have to define the split points at which we want to split our data into the custom bins. And we can do that by running lines six to nine of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm applying the cut function and within the cut function, I'm specifying that I want to split the first row until the last row of our data frame. Then I'm also specifying the breaks at which I want to split our data. So in this case, I'm specifying the value zero and the value n row data at the end of the breaks argument. And in the middle of the breaks argument, I'm specifying the splits that I want to use. So in this case, I want to split our data at the third row and at the eighth row. So if you run lines six to nine of the code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called my cuts. And we can now use this data object to split our data into custom bins. And we can do that as you can see in lines 11 to 14 of the code. And in these lines of code, I'm using a for loop. And within the for loop, I'm specifying that I want to loop over the levels of our cutting object. And then within the loop, I'm assigning a subset of our data set according to the cuts that I have specified before. I will put all this R code into the description of the video so you can just copy paste it from there in case you want to replicate the example that I'm using in this video. However, if you run lines 11 to 14 of the code, you can see that three new data frame objects appear at the top right of R Studio, which are called data one, data two, and data three. And we can print the first data object data one to the bottom of the R Studio console by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that our first subset contains three rows. And as you can see in the cut function, we have specified that we want to do the first split at the third position or at the third row of our data. So for that reason, our first subset contains the first three rows. Then we can print the second subset that we have created by running line 18 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our second custom data frame bin contains the rows four to eight. And this is because we have used the first three rows in the first subset of our data set. And then we have defined that we want to do the second split at the eighth row of our data. And then the last data frame subset that we have created, which is called data three, can be print to the RStudio console by running line 20 of the code. And then you can see that this third data set contains the remaining rows or in other words, it contains rows nine and 10. So in this video, I have explained how to split a data frame into custom bins using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.